Okay, we're going to talk about congruence. That's kind of uh, ironic, but my son's doing both similarity and congruence. My wife did the other two concepts, similarity and congruence go together. That's pretty cool. Here's what's going to happen when you have your congruence problems, the triangle congruence problems on the quiz, quiz number two. They're going to they're gonna look like this without numbers. You're just going to have to know the concepts. And here's the concepts. We have five different types of congruencies. S stands for side, A stands for angle. So we have side, 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 angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle, side, angle. And H and L stands for hypotenuse and leg, okay? If you think of these first four, there's every possibility up there except for a, a, a bad word, ASS. So that's kind of an easy way to think of all the, all the possibilities. Here's the two things you're gonna have to worry about which they, where things aren't spelled out for you. If you look up here, we're going to just focus on these first four for a minute. There's three things going on. One, two, three. You either have three sides, two sides and an angle, two angles and a side, two angles and a, uh, two angles and a side again. So you have to have three components in all these. In my examples up here, we're going to start here with example. I'll call this example number one. There's only there's only spelling out two things for me right here. This this side is congruent with this side, so I've got a side. This two tick marks and these two tick marks are congruent, so I got two sides. There's no SS over here. There's no, I have to have something else right there, okay? And they're not spelling it out for you. What they're expecting you to know is from a pre, last week, week one, from a previous unit, you have to know that this crisscross action right here, anytime you see this X pattern, those are called vertical angles. And those ang that angles congruent, so we can say vertical angles, and vertical angles are congruent. Okay. So I can say, uh, and and I, it's not SSA. You have to go in order. You can pick any spot in the triangle and kind of go in order. So I have to go. If I go here, I got side angle side, side angle side. I have to go with the three things in order. I can't go all the way around. I kind of got to go where they're conglomerated right here. Everything's right here. So I got to read these in order. Side, angle, side. So this one's side, angle, side right there, which is number two. Here's example number two. And again, this is not spelled out for you. We have one side right here, one tick mark. So we got a side. We got another side here, two tick marks. So we got another side. These two sides are congruent. These two sides are congruent. But again, it's, it's saying SS, it's not telling you the third thing, it's not giving you another side or another angle, it's not telling you that. What it's expecting you to know, and, and you might not, you weren't born into the world knowing this, you have to, have to visualize it. These are two separate triangles right here. There's one triangle right there, and I can color this in, in the black, this, and there's another triangle right here. And they're sharing this same side, that's called a shared side. So this from here i can call this from a a and b from a to b that that side is shared by both of them this this side right here is in this triangle if we come over here this side is in this triangle so if they're sharing this shared side is congruency shared side anytime you see two triangles stuck together like that there's a shared side and shared sides are congruent so there's our s right there we'd have sss and that would be number one Thank you.